YouTube. This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is the video unboxing of the iPod Shuffle 4th generation. Now, I just bought this at Best Buy for $49. Um, it comes with a two gigabyte capacity, which is a bit of a step down from its predecessor, the iPod Shuffle 3rd generation, which was available in a four gigabyte capacity as well. Now, this is cheaper. It's only $49 uh, rather than 79 of the previous generation, and uh, it is available as of today at most stores. Not the Apple stores, ironically, but you will be able to get it at Best Buy and a few other um, uh, retailers. Now, I was going to get and still plan to get the iPod Shuffle and the iPod Touch. However, this is the only one available today. All the other iPod models come out tomorrow. So, um, now there it is. It comes in very quaint, very cute little packaging. This was just the seal for uh, Best Buy. Now, if you get it at your Apple store, it will more than likely come in this packaging. Um, it's very uh, green and uh, economically friendly. I do apologize for my voice. I do have a cold, which is not very pleasant. Um, so there you can see that it is a two gigabyte capacity. It comes with the iPod shuffle, headphones, a USB cable, and it will require a Mac or PC um, with iTunes 10, which was just released. Now, um, let's crack this bad boy open. You will see the typical Apple seal, this little plastic th tab right here. Pull that around. That off to the side and it is going to hopefully pop off pretty easily so there you go and there's the lid okay now we can uh, directly go to pulling off the iPod which comes off pretty easily I uh, will open the includes first designed by Apple in California start here um, this is a bit tricky to get out I'm gonna be honest uh, start here just a little manual a little quick start guide a little important product information and one Apple sticker, of course, customary. Um, now, you will also get headphones, which are subpar. This one does not have the microphone or the controls on them like the last generation, but uh, that's because this generation does have buttons on it like the second generation iPod Shuffle. Um, but these are your standard three and a half millimeter headphones. Um, the lady at Best Buy told me they were required in order to use the iPod, which is false. You can use any headphones to make this iPod shuffle work. Um, you also get your proprietary USB cord charging system. There's no 30 pin dock connector on here and it simply charges and syncs via the headphone jack. Now, this also is integrated along with the buttons. Uh, it does have voice control or voice over, which is nice and which was new in the last generation. So you do get the best of both worlds, uh, buttons and voice over at the same time simultaneously. Uh, as you can see, I apologize, it is very, very tiny. Um, it is a little bit bigger than last generation, but it is shorter um, and it does have an addition of buttons. So you can see it's about double the width, but it is um, a little bit less or a little bit more than half as tall. Um, in coordination to the other devices that you're familiar with, here is it. Here it is in comparison to an iPhone first gen, uh, so pretty small there. In comparison to an iPhone 4 case, my iPhone 4 is not currently with me, right there. And then also, this one will be a funny one, to the iPad. So, zoom out here a little. As you can see, it is in fact a very small device. Um, just a quick run around of uh, the device itself. There are the four buttons, which control volume up, volume down, forward track and reverse track, as well as the start pause button, which I assume if you hold also activates voiceover. Um, you do have your typical clip, which you're used to on the iPod shuffle, as with the last generation now, the iPod Nano. Um, it does have a very, very nice, unique finish. It's not the aluminum that you're used to. Um, it is more of a matte kind of uh, feeling iPod, which I do like. Uh, it is anodized aluminum, as far as I know. Uh, they gave me blue. That wouldn't have been my first pick, but that's what they gave me. Oh, no, look, right here. I'm assuming that activates voiceover. We can check the start here, Guide. Yes, it does. So this is the voiceover button. This is chiefly play and pause. And then uh, you have the two switches which are used to this is continuous or looped play um, in order and then this is the shuffle mode there's your headphone jack right here and voiceover is activated via that button 
Um, you do have your LED, which I assume is the same with previous generations. Green means you're good to go. When it's orange, you have less than 25% battery left, and when it's red, your battery is low. So that is the walkover and view of the new iPod Shuffle fourth generation. Uh, it is a bit better than its predecessor because it does bring buttons but still integrates voiceover. So uh, that's a pretty cool little feature. These are available for $49. They come in a variety of colors and you can pick them up at your Apple retailers, at your Apple store, or online at www.apple.com. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.